Greetings everybody, I'm Jonathan Lucky and I'm here to show you custom tasks. Um, there'll be uh, several videos that'll talk about custom tasks. In this first video, we're going to talk about general tasks. General tasks are tasks that you can run before schedule runs, after schedule runs, or uh, in independently of your schedule as in the form of an automation schedule. So we'll take a look at running a program or opening up a document. We'll also take a look at printing a document automatically, a wait or pause command, executing a schedule automatically off the back of another schedule, and also sending a text message. All right, let's get started. So if you go to run program and open a document, you now have the ability to run a program on the CRD machine. So, of course, you would name the task first, and then under Program Document Path, click on the triple dots, and then browse to the specific program that you would like to run. This can also be a document as well, you're just simply selecting the word, browsing to the Word document. So working folder will automatically be populated, but if not, you can actually select the, you can browse towards the working folder as well by clicking the triple dots. And finally, you can use command line parameters so that way when it runs, it'll, it can run with those optional command line switches as well. You can also decide the what happens, how the window will pop up when it runs, whether it's going to be hidden, maximized, minimized, and also determine the CPU priority, high, above normal, low, etc. And then there's the option to wait uh, for the program mm -hmm. to exit as well. So now next up is printing a document. Mm -hmm. You can automatically print a document as a custom task as well. Pretty straightforward. Simply uh, name the task, and then you can indicate whether you're going to do this the simple mode or the advanced mode. Let's take a look at the simple mode first. Um, if you select simple, simply pick from the drop down list the particular printer that will be uh, that you need to reprint from, and then browse by clicking the green plus button. Browse to the exact file that you need to print. You can keep pressing the plus button, so you can just keep adding files as well. If you select the advanced option, again, you would select the printer, and then you can also select multiple files, say by doing a control click or a shift click. And then you can also select the button for recursive as well. And that way, if you select recursive, what will happen is it will print all the files um, from the folders and the subfolders as well. Next up is the wait or pause command. The wait or pause command is effectively that. You're instructing CRD to wait for a specified amount of time before executing the next action. This is pretty helpful if you are, say, tying two schedules together that, require, that depend on one another. One needs to run first, and after it's done everything it needs to do, whatever database settings that have been changed or wherever the report's been delivered, you need to add a buffer of time between those tasks. So all you have to do to set one up, simply click on Wait Pause, name the task, and then indicate how many seconds that the pause is supposed to last, say 60 seconds. Okay, the next task that we need to do is run a schedule. Run a schedule is a very cool task where you can actually chain multiple schedules together to create a workflow. Um, so you could say, after a schedule runs, your single schedule, um, execute the uh, package schedule, so then that goes. And then after that, execute an automation schedule that updates a database record. So it's a really cool way to chain all of your schedules together so that multiple schedules can be kicked off at a specific time or maybe on the basis of an event, and then all the rest carry out almost like a cascading set of events. Pretty easy to set up. Just go to execute schedule, task name, 
into your task name. And then from the list, browse to the CRD schedule that you want to execute. Once you've selected it, click OK. And then you're all set. And finally, there's a custom task under general to execute a text message. Send a text message. Um, this again is could be a text message not even necessarily associated with the report. Um, for your settings on how to set up text messaging, you actually set that all up in the options menu. So to create that task, all you do is go to send SMS, indicate a title, and then um, enter the phone number of the text that we that the recipients. Now, also, if you have a CR, if you have contacts in your CRD address book, you can use their phone numbers by clicking on the two button, and it'll bring up the CRD address book, and you can pull their phone numbers off of there if you have those contacts programmed in there. Simply type the number, type your text message, limit 160 characters, and then click OK. So then now your text will be sent off as a part of your custom task. All of these tasks have a common uh, option screen, which enables you to A, run the schedule before, after, or both before and after the uh, appending schedule runs. Of course, if you're doing an automation schedule, that is actually a bit of a different option. Um, there's also other two options, especially when you're using this in conjunction with a the report. There is the after successful report delivery, and then there's after successful report production. Two different things. Successful report production implies that when CRD runs the report, um, prior to the report's delivery, the tasks will run. This is often helpful, say, if you're using deferred delivery, where the report has been, isn't be, has been delayed its delivery by a couple of hours, but you want the task to run instantly when the schedule runs. So then the other case is after successful report delivery. That is when the report has been produced and delivered. Now you can run the tasks. Hey, George, this so is Chris. feel free to check out you? all of the options that we have, <laughs> Good. Good. Um, all of the custom tasks. Time. In the next tutorial, we're actually oh. going to take a look at files and folders. Oh, well, Thank you very I'm much for joining.